Welcome back, my little weirdos, to Dead by Daylight. My name is Ken, and we will be looking at the, well, not new, but Lights Out is back. They've done this once before. Now they are doing it Castlevania style. Survivors will have candelabras that they can carry around and put on gens to help them find it. And the entire place is dark. This is going to be quite fun. All right, our killer match today will be with the pig. And you can see how dark this is. All gens start with a little bit of progress just to help survivors kind of find them more in the dark. And as you can see, survivors are carrying their candelabras, which actually kind of helps a bit in chase. Oh, I thought she was going to go for that pallet. Ah, she's going to go around. How interesting. Should have gone for the pallet. Alright, let's get a helmet on her. A little bit too late. That's not great. I wish I could have gotten that a little bit sooner before that gem popped. But oh well. Alright, now we'll head back in this direction. This was the one she was working on, I believe. No. It was this one. See, this is kind of the hard part of trying to figure out what gens exactly to go back to. There's a gen back here, so they have on next. Right here. Alright. Where is she going? This way? This is why you don't wait at pallets. Right, don't wait. And they are working on this gen as we speak, it sounds like. Nice. Alright, I got that. There's a hook over here. They could absolutely finish that before I hook this. Which is why I'm not dropping to put a helmet on. They absolutely did. Hi, Ada. Nice. And the sable left. Fantastic. And what they've completed three gems. Hello, Meg. Should have gone for that pallet nearby, Meg. You don't make it to this one. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry, I forgot to put a helmet on her. And the Ada leaves too. I don't. What is it with survivors? And. I am playing against a team of bots. Yeah, you live. She went this way? Yeah, she did. I don't know where the Ada went. Go ahead and unhook. The bots are likely... on gens? On that one. We'll stick close to these three, especially. That one we might give up. Oh, 
Yep, all right, now we do that. Go drop it. Oh, she still had that. All right, where, I don't know where that Ada went now. Or the Meg went, but. The bots really won't be doing gens for a minute. Except for Sable. Sable. I kind of feel bad for the Claudette, so I'm just gonna let her, let her go. But I won't let you do gens in my face. No, no, no. Saw the sable back here, so we'll just hook and go back for the sable. What was that? Oh. Oh, here's the sable bot. Oh yeah, if they open chests, they can get more. Candles. That's fun. Alright, we will go check the now. It really is this gen back here I'm worried about. And the Megbot finally got her helmet off. Probably just in the nick of time too. This poor Claudette man, she's really trying. Well, who unhooked? Okay, she didn't go for that. Sometimes the bots will just drop it automatically. Alright. Now when we find the sable, like I said, I'm just kind of going to give Claude at an out. Still have BT from what I on? Okay. Blood, blood. Yeah. Okay. He's still here. Yeah. I I completely lost her. That's that's the thing with um this game of as you can tell there's no scratch marks. I forgot to point that out earlier, but you can track with blood. Claudette is not saving, which I don't, I don't blame her. She really shouldn't. Yes, you can go. I 
Alright, let's go find you the hatch. Oh, here we go. Gave me a coffee and a lava. Oh, thanks, Claude. <laughs> yeah, her whole team D sing is kind of crazy. And two of them were P100s. Good luck next. Theater, fun. It's a dredge. Oh no! All right, so you can use your candelabra, which you can kind of see it there. Will highlight gens that are nearby. Oh, that's a single gen. Okay. Round. All right. See that little white thing in the distance? That is a candelabra, and you can place it on top of a gen. Now, the killer has no heartbeat, so you really have to be careful and just kind of listen. And you don't get to see whether or not your teammates are working on gens or anything like that either. So, all your information is stripped away. And what I didn't mention earlier in my killer game was there are no perks. You can't bring any perks, can't bring any offerings, any items. So that goes for both sides, which I think makes this really fair and actually really fun. So we know the killer started back there because we saw Michaela. Oh, the killer's over there now. We saw M Michaela working on that single gen. And if you haven't noticed yet, when you get down, you drop your candelabra. Oh, and you don't have a progress bar for anything, even for healing. All right, now we're gonna kind of go this way and go around to get Michaela. Cause, oh, they got her. Just because I don't entrance to this here. I don't know where the killer is. Oh shoot, he's right there on that guy. Okay. I heard Michaela nearby too. Heal Michaela up for a second. Darkness in lights out. Doesn't really make that much of a difference, does it? Alright, well that's three gens done. Keep in mind you really gotta be counting. And at least with generators, you can look at the cylinders on top here to tell how far along the gen is. Hi! On me. That's fantastic. Pallet. Anything useful in here? Or did they already use up all the pallets? Anything helpful? Pallet here. And we're just gonna leave. Oh. But still. Pretty okay. The dredge is actually pretty good in this mode. And as you can see there, you can place a candelabra on top of a gen. Um, 
Usually, using a candelabra will show you gens that are nearby. But if there is a candle on top of it, then. Oh. Kill me now. If there is a candelabra on top of it, like over there as well, you can see it from across the map when you use one in your hand. That one's already done. Okay. Being chased, so I'm gonna go this way. Now, I'm gonna pick this up just to find some gens, but usually it's better in chase if you don't use it. Because we're down to the last three. Because as you saw with my pig match, it's very easy to track survivors if they're holding a candle. Alright, we can kind of be relaxed because they are... Hi, Ripley. I got stuck. That's not good. Alright, nice. We get some distance there. I'm sorry, Ripley. I'm sorry. Probably just keep moving if they're... Oh, this is a corner. Does he come this way? <laughs> Facing somebody else? Okay. Nope! That somebody is right here! Oh my god, I'm sorry! Oh, thank god. Yeah, he's still chasing. He's on a slug. I did not check. <laughs> and this is why darkness on dredge on this is actually kind of good. It does limit your field of vision even further. I don't know where that is. The door is open, a timer is ticking. I don't know where that is. Maybe it's Michaela? Michaela was? Please come get me. I have a challenge where I have to escape as Belmont. <laughs> Awesome. You know where the door is? Is it here? Is this the one that's open? Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Perfect. Coming? Ripley's coming. Not messing around. I'm just leaving. Bye. Oh, good. They all they all followed too. Hey, we made it out. And my heart rate is hundred. Well played. <laughs> A bronze evader. Yep, that's what I expect.